People ask me how I stumble upon these Terry Bad anime, but I could pretend I scour closing down video stores to pick up the final ever copy of Blue Flames, but the reality is less glamorous. A combination of Mal's lowest scores and some good old fashioned piracy solved that. It doesn't really take a genius to see that Vampire Wars is prime Terry Bad material though, even the name sets those alarms off. Take a supernatural being and imply they fight each other. Other Terry Bad warning signs would be the fact that it's an early 90s OVA, dubbed by Manga UK, and a box blurb that uses the word hyper violent. Vampire Wars is about vampires. This may seem self-evident, but Mad Bull 34 didn't have 34 Mad Bulls in it, so it is worth noting. Not that we get to see any of these vampires for a good 20 minutes. It starts off with a violent murdering of a prostitute with a dildo with spikes in the end. This is probably down to the law that Japan had in the 90s, that every OVA was required to have at least one boob shot, so Vampire Wars stuck it in at the start just to get it out of the way. So right, the plot. Our main character, whose name I can't remember so I'll just call him Biceps Kun, takes off after the killer only to suddenly get drawn into a totally unconnected piece of gang warfare and oh did I mention this was dubbed by Manga UK? Aside from the dub having hilariously bad French accents and some hilariously bad regular voices, like this thug whose voice makes him sound like he inhales gravel for a living. Manga UK has this tradition of taking these hyperviolent OVAs and inserting as much imaginative swearing as possible, so the age rating would be hiked up in order to make the video appear edgy and cool and most definitely not kid stuff. My personal favourite swear in Vampire Wars was by the local prostitute to the gravel inhaler, where she said, <clears throat> I bet you fist fuck your wife because you don't know what to do with your cock. Not kid stuff. Oh yeah, I was talking about the plot. So Biceps Kun gets roped into doing dirty work for this uh, fat French ganglord in order to track down some guy that has been taking out his uh, men. And uh, oh, did I mention how much sex there is in this? There's this informant woman with massive shoulders that comes to give Biceps Kun information on the guy he was supposed to be tracking down. But barely 30 seconds after she's walked in the door, they've stripped down and started shagging. I mean... I suppose it's a nice change from the usual sex star and milk toast lead we get nowadays, but it does make his romantic confession to a different girl at the end of the anime ring somewhat hollow, when the entire extent of their interactions was also that they had sex. Alright, the plot. So Biceps Kun double crosses the French guy and teams up with his Japanese friend that was his buddy back in his policing days, and characters in this anime don't seem to be able to fire just one or two bullets. I'm not American, so I don't know anything about guns. But Biceps Kun took up one of their big guns and emptied roughly 100 million billion bullets into Gravel Voice when they met up again. Then again, I suppose he had good reason to, when somehow Gravel Voice was still able to rumble out a final few words before he could inhale gravel no longer. Okay, I'm serious, Simon, the plot. Turns out these guys are being attacked by a vampire. Remember, the title said there would be vampires, possibly involved in an altercation of some kind. Biceps Gun has to track down the vampire, or it will kill the girl he loves. However, the vampire then teleports Biceps Gun into a white room, where he informs him that vampires in fact came to Earth 5,000 years ago, after they had to escape annihilation from an evil alien empire and- Oh Christ, are you listening to this? You doubted our attention span so much that you had to include violence and tits with every two minute interval, and yet now you expect us to sit through this ten minute scene of garbled nonsense exposition that has nothing to do with anything else that has happened so far in the anime? Let's just say that, as the vampire is about to start his long speech he read off the Scientology Wikipedia entry, your cat exploded, and you had to leave the room, returning only when the killing had started again. You would not have noticed a single difference. The anime ends before anything to do with aliens or vampires gets resolved. The vampire told Biceps Kun that they needed to rescue his lady friend from an evil organisation, which he was doing anyway before the exposition. I suppose it explains why Vampire and Biceps Gun teamed up, but I'm pretty certain anyone who watched these sort of OVAs are used to making up explanations of their own. Come to think of it, the name is a lie. There's only one vampire, and that's hardly much of a war. The story seemed to be setting up some sort of vampire versus aliens battle, but that apparently all happens off screen. Instead what we got was Manslot versus the men with the ridiculous French accents. <laughs> Do 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 do